to my channel. Today I'm actually uploading the first of two. So I'm going to be uploading two Valentine's Day tutorials and I decided to upload the first video using affordable options because I felt like I've been really loving finding all of these hidden gems within the affordable range and I love them. I'm really excited about it. And so I wanted to do two different looks and I thought I'll do one for the affordable and one for the more high end. And today I actually use the ColourPop theme palette, which has been one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop. I cannot tell you how much I love this. I actually took it on vacation with me to Florida last year because I loved it that much. And I just think it's such a beautiful palette. You could create so many different looks using this palette for Valentine's Day. And I love that pinky lilac eye. It's one of my favorite looks and it's so appropriate for Valentine's Day. I'm actually going to be uploading my Valentine's Day tutorial using more high-end products next week. So let me know in the comments down below what palette you guys would like to see and I'll probably be doing a poll in my community center. So be on the look for that poll and let me know because I, I've had some ideas like the new nudes palette from uh, Huda Beauty or you know maybe the Norvina palette from ABH. Like there's so many different palettes that we could use. So let me know in the comments comments down below and definitely be on the look for that poll and help me out. I love it when you guys vote. It really helps me. Thank you to each and every one of you that takes the time to vote and give me your opinion because your feedback means everything to me. And I'm excited about this video. I love everything about love. I've been married for 18 years to the love of my life. He and I have a very, very strong marriage and I am so appreciative for everything that he is for me. And he's definitely my better half and he makes me a better person. And I love everything about love. I do think that Valentine's Day maybe is a little bit overrated, but I do believe in celebrating love every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before I found out about this foundation, this is the Collab Bright Spark Radiant Foundation that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I've only worn it once but I'm kind of obsessed. If I wasn't going to use this foundation, I would use maybe the, like for dry normal skin, maybe I would use the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow or uh, Flower Beauty, the Light Illusion. That one's a really good foundation. And I would also use the uh, L'Oreal Infallible, the new one, the 24 hour wear. I really like that one as well. There's a lot of good, decent foundations options out there for dry normal skin. Today I'm gonna use this one because ugh, I'm, I am so obsessed with this foundation, like I am obsessed. If you guys missed the video, I recently um, uploaded a video testing out this collab brand for the very first time. It's, it's exclusively sold at Sally's and they collaborated with a bunch of influencers to kind of create the brand. The way I'm gonna apply this to build coverage because it is a lighter coverage foundation and I'm just gonna start kind of stippling this. If you have a foundation that is a lighter coverage, I recommend stippling it into the skin and then like pressing it in with the brush and the sponge just so that you can really get a good application and a good coverage, but still have that um, no makeup look, you know? And I'm gonna kind of press that into my skin. Oh, it's such a good foundation, you guys. Like, I am so obsessed with this, I can't even tell you. Why do I always put earrings on before I put my foundation on? Like, seriously, Tara. <sighs> Dumb A. The thing that I like about this foundation is that it is a buildable foundation. So for those of you out there who don't really want a lot of coverage, you can totally get that light coverage situation out of this foundation, or you can build it to a nice medium coverage. It just depends on what you prefer. So I am gonna use the concealer from the Collab brand. I think I have found the perfect concealer in the affordable range. Like I'm obsessed with this concealer. It is so good. I have it in the shade Honey Almond. Put some of this underneath my eyes. And I do think that I really like this because of the shade as well. I think, you know, having the right shade really makes a difference. And I really, I really like this concealer and I'm so glad that I got the right shade. And it dries and like sets down, but it stays pretty creamy all through the day. 
and I have just really struggled trying to find a good concealer from the drugstore. The one I did like was the one from Flower Beauty, the Light Illusion. That one's good as well. I am going to take a little bit of this concealer and I'm going to bring it up here around my forehead. Now you guys know that I am not somebody that puts concealer all over their face. However, I do want to lighten up my face just a tad right here in the center only because my foundation right now with not having my fake tan on it's a little bit too dark so I am going to like lighten up that portion of my face just to kind of add a little bit of highlight but I don't go crazy with concealer you guys like I don't go crazy with concealer on my face. Brows are done and I did go ahead and put this on this is the P. Louise eyeshadow base in shade 3 and I went ahead and set my eyelids with that. So I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to use this contour stick from Makeup Revolution. This is called the one and I believe it only comes in one shade. I My hair in this collar is driving me crazy you guys. You can't get this at Ulta online but you can get it uh, through the Makeup Revolution website. So I'm going to go ahead and contour with this. Well maybe. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm using the Luxie 680 Pro Precision Face brush. And I got this brush in the Boxy Lux box from uh, from December. You know how um, Boxy Charm did that Boxy Lux box? And they had that big set of Luxie brushes. That's where I got this brush, and I love it to blend out contour. It is one of my favorite brushes to blend out contour. It just, it really blends it out nicely and I just love the angle on it as you can see. It's just, it's a good brush. And I really like that contour product. So I typically use the KKW Beauty in uh, shade tan, the contour stick in shade tan, but this one is awesome as well. I really, really enjoy that contour stick. Next, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution bronzer. I would prefer to use my Milani bronzer, but I can't find it at the moment. And it does kind of have a little bit of that shimmer to it. That's the reason why I chose this one. So I'm going to go down into this and just kind of apply this on my face right above that contour. I don't want to go too heavy with it because I am going to use a blush for a Valentine's Day look. I'd rather keep my I'd rather keep my blush light and kind of airy. And so like all the makeup I want to keep it light. So I don't want to go in like too heavy with it. So for blush, I'm going to go in with this Milani blush palette. This is the shade 2, which is a rose powder blush. It's floral fantasy. And I really like the Milani um, bronzers and blushes. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's the lightest. It's kind of a peachy pink. It's definitely one of my favorite shades from Milani. So I'm just going to go in with this brush from the Sonia G Pro Face Set. And I'm going to like lightly dust that along the cheek. But I don't want to go too heavy. You guys know that I love some blush. But when you're doing a makeup look like this, you want everything to just be very light and romantic versus very heavy and, you know, real pigmented and real sharp, dark lines. Like for Valentine's Day, I like to keep everything just light. And I'm going to go ahead and tap it out with the sponge that I used for my foundation. And as you can see, that's just light, very pretty, but not overwhelming on the cheek. For highlight, I'm going to use this. This is from ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Cheek highlighter in lunch money for some reason I cannot say that I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger and kind of like run that across my cheekbone again keeping this very light I'm just gonna put a little bit on the cupid's bow a tiny bit here on my chin and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit right up here above my brow bone but again, keeping this very light because I really do not want to go overboard with this product. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes before I go in with any eye makeup. And for this eyeshadow look, I'm going to use my Fame palette from ColourPop. This is one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop. This one and the brown sugar one is one of my favorites. I actually took this on vacation with me last year um, to Florida for four weeks because 
This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna use my pro I'm gonna use my Pro Eye Set from Sonia G. Sigma sent me a few new brushes that I'm kind of playing around with and I'm actually liking them. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this one right here on the second row. It is called Razzle. And I'm gonna take this Crease Pro brush and I'm gonna place this in the crease and just kind of start building up that shade very lightly. And I really love this shade. I think it's a very, it's a nice transition shade. I'm just gonna kind of buff out those edges a little bit. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Clubhouse, which is right here. It's the third one over on the third row. And I'm gonna go right below what I just did and kind of build up that dimension. I'm just kind of deepening up the crease. Now I'm gonna wipe that brush off. I'm gonna go into the shade Celeb, which is the first one on the third row. It's a very light, light baby pink. It's very dusty, but I wanna pop this right here, right above the crease, and just kind of like bring a little bit of that baby pink to the look. Then I'm gonna go back in with Razzle, which was the first shade that I used in the crease, and I'm gonna put it over top. I really gave it that violet shade and it kind of now matches the light pink shirt that I had on. I'm gonna grab this brush from the Sonya G collection. This is the Worker Pro. I'm gonna first go in with this shade, the Debutante. This one right here, it's the second one over on the third row. And I'm gonna put some of that shade on this brush and I'm gonna spray it, if I can find my spray. Look how beautiful, like purpley lilac that is. That's the thing about any type of Valentine's Day look. You guys know that I love lilac shades and I, I really do. I love them on the eye and I feel like for Valentine's Day, you can do anything you want. You can do pink, you can do reds, you can do purples, you can do the lilac. Anything that's just soft and just very beautiful will work. I'm gonna go in with my finger and just really press that and get that pigmentation. Oh, I love it, it's so stinking pretty. So next I'm gonna take the uh, Builder Pro. It's this brush right here. And I'm actually gonna go into Razzle and then I'll go into Clubhouse. So I'm gonna build up these two. Place this right here on this outer corner and just kind of like blunt, like pushing that product into where I have that really pretty lilac shade on the lid. And then I'm gonna go into Clubhouse. Okay, next, I'm gonna take a small like smudger brush. This is from Sigma. This is a smudge brush. This is E20. I'm gonna dip between Clubhouse and, I can't read that, but it's the second one on the bottom row. And I'm gonna like mix between those two shades and I'm gonna basically like outline right here along my lash line. Kind of give me a little bit of definition right here but keeping that really close to the lash line and then kind of feeding it up into the eye look. Now I'm taking this brush from Sigma and I think this is one of my favorite brushes that Sigma sent to me. This is the Shader Crease Brush, it's the E47. And I like this because it's long, but it it's wispy, but still together. It has some density to it, but it's also wispy, but you can also kind of like really outline that crease right there. So I really like this brush for that purpose. And I'm gonna go back into the shade Clubhouse, this one right here. I wanna deepen that up just a little bit. I feel like when you deepen up that crease, it really makes this lid shade pop. And so I'm taking that shade and just kind of carving that out. And 
Then I just went into this shade right here, which is called Piece of Me. It's a shimmer purple. And I used that to really line that. I felt like Clubhouse wasn't giving me the definition within like that shade that I wanted. If you have a hooded eye, I recommend taking a dark shade and going into that crease right above that light shade on the lid and making sure that you kind of carve that out. It will really make that lid shade pop. Like it really brings a lot of life to that lid shade. Okay, now I'm gonna take the pencil pro brush from the Sonia G collection and I'm gonna go into that first shade Razzle, which is what we used on the crease. And I'm gonna kind of build this up along the lower lash line, kind of smoking it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into Clubhouse doing the exact same thing, just kind of smoking that shade in. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to that smudger brush we were using, and I'm gonna go into that, the gray shade, and I'm gonna place this right here close to the lash line, but keeping it right here on this outer corner, just so that it kind of gives that effect here on the outer corner. Now you could deepen this, like if you're somebody that really likes a smoky eye, you could totally deepen this much more than I'm doing. I'm just keeping it pretty light and kind of airy and kind of a little bit more on the romantic side. So for the inner corner, oh my gosh, there's so many pretty shades. But I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and it is called The Most. I'm gonna take this brush from the Luxie brush set, the little mini set that we got from our BoxyCharm, I think in November. And I am going to pack that shade on. I'm gonna spray it. And then I'm going to pop this right here on the inner corner. I'm going to go into Showboat, which is this top shade right here. Um, it's the third one over on the top row. And I'm going to kind of pop that over top. But I'm kind of bringing that, incorporating that pink because those two shades are more pink. So now I'm bringing the pink in with the purple, which I live for. So there's that. So I'm taking a Q-tip and I'm gonna remove all of the shadow that's sitting on that waterline. And then I'm gonna go in with this. This is the 24-7 waterline eye pencil in the shade Walk of Shame. And I am going to put this right here just to really open up those eyes. But I do recommend going in with a brush and like blending it out because it can be a little bit too much. I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner and I'm going to go along the upper part of my waterline, but I'm gonna use black because I really want, I don't wanna see any of that skin poking through my lashes. Whether you're wearing false lashes or just mascara and you're not gonna put lashes on, I recommend doing this. Okay, okay, so I just went ahead and threw on some lashes. I just wanted something very wispy. I have no idea what these lashes are. I'm so sorry. If I figure it out, I will put it at the bottom of the screen, but right now I don't know exactly what they are. I really struggled trying to find a lippy to match this eye look. And I could not find anything like that was more of the affordable option, like ColourPop and all that. I went through everything I had and I just could not find that right tone. I wanted this color, like this pink with a little bit of purple in it, a little bit of that nude kind of look. And this is what I found it. And I'm sorry, it's not super affordable, but this is from Smashbox. And this is in the shade Audition, and it is so freaking stunning. I am like, this was the shade I kept looking for. I went through all of my shades and all of my lippies to try to find a more affordable option that was closest to this, and I just couldn't find it. So I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I thought that it matched this eye look just so perfect, and it kind of pulled it together. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will be uploading another tutorial of more of my high-end products let me know in the comments down below if you would rather me use like the Norvina palette or the Huda Beauty palette the new nudes let me know what palette you would like for me to use in the high-end Valentine's Day look so that video will probably could be coming up next week so be on the look for that and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me in this channel it means the world to me and I hope you guys have a beautiful day filled with love and joy I love you guys so much. Bye.